put you on the spin there. <laughs> that was an epic freaking blow up, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I love how they get deep like that. It's like an acre of bass. Yeah. I mean, hundreds of them. Get up, get up. Hey, John Cruz here with your Sunline recap from Lake Fork, the Toyota Bassmaster Texas Fest. Man, Lake Fork is the number one tournament destination in the country, and I can tell you, I can see why, man, had had a blast. Only ended up in 33rd place. Um, not exactly the tournament that I was hoping for. I never really figured him out there. As, as crazy as it sounds, I just was not in tune with the fish when I got there. The first day of practice did not have a single bite. But the second day of practice had about 15 bites, started to get a little bit uh, figured out on the shallow side. Didn't feel like that was the way to win, so the, the last day, of practice went back deep uh, got a couple bites nothing that really did anything uh, for me so I really went back to those areas I, I caught them the second day of practice and uh, that's where I started the tournament and the old Spro bronze eye frog 65 uh, started out throwing a white one and had three blow-ups early not one fish got it so I switched to the black frog and I think I only missed one uh, or one fish missed it the rest of the day. Had almost 20 pounds that first day. Um, and, and this was definitely the, the heavy lifter for me. Some old faithful, caught hundreds and hundreds of fish on it. Had it on 50 pound Sunline X Plasma Asagai braid. This is absolutely amazing braid. Threw the wood to them. I had my Cashin frog rod, seven foot heavy action. Had the high speed. Uh, Daiwa Tatula 100, uh, man, just a, a heck of a combo. Casts amazing. Uh, you can hit them as hard as you want to with that rod. You got nothing to worry about. I boat flipped five, and I boat flipped a six pounder with that rod. Uh, not even a second's problem. So that was the uh, that was the main setup that I caught. Really, my fish all three days. But I had some other players in the mix. Um, the 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 first day and the um, and the third day, I caught some fish on a, a quarter ounce white. Varney swim jig with a missile baits twin turbo trailer on the back and had that also on the Cashin frog rod had that on 30 pound Sunline X plasma braid and then it had a uh, Daiwa Tatula 100 reel again and then the last day or the second day the fish that saved my tournament for me I would have ended up in the 50s somewhere but the, at the end of that second day I only had two fish and I knew I needed at least one or two more fish at the end of the day with 10 minutes left, I picked up the uh, Z-Man Chatterbait, the black blue, had a Missile Beats Shockwave 3.5 on the back, threw that out there and I caught a 4.6 with 10 minutes to go through that fish in the boat. And I knew that was gonna help me, but I didn't realize it squeaked me in in 35th place going into the last day. Uh, and then that last day, I caught a six and a three right away on the frog. Then that frog bite kind of went away, ended up catching a couple keepers on the on the missile baits D bomb had that on the, uh, the on the punch rod the cash and 711 punch rod and had that on 65 pound sunline X plasma braid four aught gamakatsu hook ounce and a half weight uh, had it on the uh, California love D bomb that was my setup had this on the uh, the high speed Daiwa Tatula SV the high speed one Man, that thing is uh, it's a workhorse for me but that was kind of what my what my, my add-on baits were, but again, 
the, the Spro Bronze I-65, that thing was the one that, that came through for me that last day. Ended up having 14 pounds, bumped up two places, uh, really enjoyed myself, had a good time, and got out of there with a few points and a good paycheck. So that was my Sunline recap from Lake Fork. If you ever get a chance to go to Lake Fork, you definitely, definitely need to go down there. But stay tuned because there's even more fish catches coming up right after this. I got your seat. Sweet. You called it. Come up here and catch them. right there baby a big old black spot on his tail mm -hmm. it's a pretty healthy fish right there clean it's not beat up That fish spawning, look, huh? Look at that. Wow. Chunker. You think it?
Yes. That's a nice fish. I don't think so. Oof. You called it. Ow. That was a uh, oh. 